Haley. Hi, I'm Jonathan. And today we're doing a Top 5 Wednesdays. The people who run the group this month, they didn't get together enough topics or ink topics. I'm not exactly sure, but uh, they asked us to go back through the archives and pick a topic that we wish we had been able to do but we weren't able to participate in. And after looking through it, we settled on Top 5 Minor Characters which is not side characters, but mm, think Oliver Wood, not Ron and Hermione. And I'm really excited about it, so let's get straight into it. <laughs> Do <Too> it! <many. laughs> but okay. <sighs> Number five. So I, uh, for my number five pick, went with Harry King from the Discworld series by Terry Pratchett. Uh, Harry King is a minor character in several books in the city of Ankh-Morpork. He's a uh, scrap merchant who basically takes absolutely anything and everything that's thrown away and finds someone somewhere who's willing to pay money for it. Uh, he uh, plays an important role in a few books where he is uh, very much a, I guess you might call it a diamond in the rough or whatnot, who just a real rags, for, rags to riches sort of uh, story where he is uh, constantly being snubbed by uh, the, the old money in the city and so on and is very committed to trying to give uh, other people uh, like a fair chance and so on and he's just um, a very entertaining character. Um, for my top five, my fifth from the top, you Your know, number five. my number five, I picked Grania McConnor from the Kashiel's Dart series. I really like her. She is one of the two leaders of a faction of people who live on an isolated island and she is a driving force in the plot but she doesn't get just a ton of screen time she's exceptionally headstrong and funny and kind of wild and I really enjoy a particular scene with her riding into battle in the book it reminds me very much of stories I read with Boudicca in them as a little kid I had like a picture book that had her in it and I just really enjoyed the few bits that she was in. Number four, I have Count Threp from the King Killer Chronicles by Patrick Rothfuss. Uh, he is just a real colorful character who plays a uh, minor role but an important one to uh, facilitating the plot at a few points. But mostly he's just a, a good-natured supporter of the arts who's just always entertaining when he's on on screen and, uh, you know, always just kind of steals the show when he's, uh, when he is. And I just, I enjoyed every scene he was in. He is a fun character. You make a good point. It's probably on page, huh? Not on screen. Yeah, I'm, I'm stealing that. Okay. On page. Um, my number four is uh, Inan from the Broken Earth trilogy, which I talked about in more depth in our Broken Earth review video, which I will link down in the doodly do. But the long and short of it is great by representation, pirates. He's good. I considered him for this list. For my number three pick, I chose Arthur Weasley from Harry Potter by J.K. Rowling. Uh, so obviously there are a lot of choices in Harry Potter for uh, minor characters, but uh, like, and I, I don't mean this as a slight to any of them, but just Arthur Weasley is a really great character. He is uh, so funny and is just like bumbling and like but well-meaning and like very competent and incompetent at the same time and his enthusiasm for all things muggles is just 
so infectious and you just or at least I just would like love to hang out with him and spend a couple of hours desperately trying to explain how the hell uh, technology works. I mean, I it would be a lot of fun. So that yeah. does sound like a lot of fun. Um, my number three pick is Tom Bombadil from The Lord of the Rings. Uh, I actually hated him as a young child, and it kept me from reading the book the first book all the way through several times whenever I was about 12 and then finally I pushed through it and I ended up really liking it when I was in college and I still kind of like seeing his little Tom Bombadil, Tom Bombadillo to myself and I really enjoy him. He's funny and probably the character in the actual Lord of the Rings core trilogy that is the most like a fairy tale to me and I I kind of wish they had him in the movie. Yeah. Uh, so most of the times I've gone through the Lord of the Rings, it's been in audiobook form, and I actually like I find those sections very entertaining because you get to listen to the songs being sung and all that. But at the same time, I mean, you know, a lot of people have complained about it or like complain about that part of the book and find it like kind of loses the thread a little bit and all that. I don't know what it is. I always fall asleep during that bit. I mean, I listen to audiobooks at bedtime, but. Like, I've heard that section so many times trying to actually listen through without just skipping over it. And I've dreamt about Tom Bombadil, and it's just... I have also dreamed about Tom Bombadil and that weird forest where the trees, like, change the paths mm -hmm. and stuff. It's the... I, is it the... Um, it's not Mirkwood. It's, uh... Oh, it's the one in the Shire. It's, yeah, it's uh... the, old, the old forest on the other side of the Brandywine River. We, I have dreamed about that forest after reading that part of the book every single time I've read it. I don't know what it is, but the descriptions in that part of the book are like so fairy tale like and dream like that it like sticks in my brain. Anyway, yeah. that is not what this is about, but Tom Bombadil. He's a good character. In his own right. For my number two pick, I have. Mercy of Collar 5 from the Imperial Rats trilogy by Anne Leckie. Uh, she is a crew member aboard a uh, ship in that series and uh, I don't really want to spoil anything but is just a delight for as like impersonal and interchangeable as uh, those characters can be or at least attempt to be. Uh, she was very obsessed with like proper appearances and uh specifically like has a, you know a fixation on making sure that there is always good china to serve tea on and like adores antique beautiful tea sets and so on and it's just this little like micro melodrama playing out in the like background scenes of this grand space opera uh and it's fantastic and i love her I also almost put Color 5 on my list. I took her off so that we wouldn't both have her on there. Yeah, I, when we were prepping for this video, I was like, and I'm pretty sure one of them, we're going to have the same thing. Um, my number two is Lindhal Reed from the Tortolliverse. He is in several of the books, so I can't really... like in The Tortol more than one. I was like, more than one of the actual series within that setting, so I won't subscribe put him in one book but he is honestly one of those minor characters that it kind of seems like they should be a more major character like so much important stuff happens like around him and with him present but he is never like a catalyst for any of it he's always just sort of there to record the moment to become to be a trusted advisor and um I recently found out he was based on David Attenborough and I find that very charming and <laughs> I've always thought that he was the kind of person you would want a teacher to be like and he reminds me very much of my botany teacher from high school except for all about animals and stuff, plants. Just very pleasant to read. He's a pleasant character to read and I think that that's sometimes sort of hard to come by. I'm looking forward to this character. I haven't gotten that far in the Tortal books yet, I don't think, but yes. I'm going to, and I'm looking forward to seeing what's so great about this guy. 
For my number one pick, I have Trappist from the King Killer Chronicles by Patrick Rothfuss. Uh, this one was just a automatic gimme when we were talking about minor characters that we liked. Um, Trappist is so if I were if I were to really briefly boil down this character, he is basically the um, to like Mister Rogers of uh, this setting in a lot of ways. He is a uh, priest who cares for the orphans and street children of Tarbine, uh, who just, I mean, he doesn't preach, he doesn't do anything, he just spends his entire life caring for, you know, invalid children and trying to find food to distribute to, uh, you know, uh, impoverished street children and, you know, it's just, it's always the person who provides them a safe place and someone to you know, look after them and be kind to them and maybe have, you know, a drink of water or a, uh, you know, somewhere to go when they're sick or they're hurt or they're scared or just, I mean, and he's just perpetually, uh, you know, wandering around taking care of children in a basement and, you know, not taking care of himself at all and just uh, the recurring, you know, theme of like, you know, they're there, hush, hush, uh, you know, and picking up babies and, you know, taking he care of them. He's a deeply and, good person. Yeah, I was gonna say, and he it, seriously going through that section of the book every time makes me cry, and it just makes me want to like show up with a big bag full of, like you know, food and like charitable donations and oh, what's not, and just yeah. He, yeah. he gives Jonathan his peace. Um, so, anyways, you go. Um, my number one pick is Angela the Herbalist from The Inheritance Cycle by Christopher Paolini and I just realized that I don't think I've been saying authors names online. We will we'll, we'll put them in text underneath my... I think you might have been. I, I'm, I'm not, not sure. sure. We'll know when we edit though. Um, but she is such a fantastic character like full of mystery and wit and timing. She has all the timing in the world and I mean that's sort of plot specific and important but it's one of those things where I she stuck in my brain as like really important and interesting I have a serious like connection with somebody who would name their weapon Tinkle Death it's just important that somebody that important would name their weapon Tinkle Death and hang out with Werecat and just in general be more interesting and better than most of the other people around her. So I enjoy her. I really wish that she had had more time on the page, honestly. I wish she had been a side character instead of a main or instead of a minor character. And I think that's it. Yep, those are our top fives. Um, every book that we mentioned are good reads. Uh, Haley's Instagram and social media and so on be linked down in the doodly doo and uh, if you like the video give it a thumbs up we would love to hear from you guys as to what your top five or even just your you know any favorite characters minor characters from books you've read are so leave us a comment and if you want to see more from us subscribe because we hope to see you guys again soon Bye.